Another big working class Odeon was at Hackney Road, where the Maple organisation provided a rather crude exterior. This was the first Odeon to be turned over to full-time bingo in 1961 and it is still used for that purpose. It has been longer on bingo than it was on films and is now so thoroughly altered internally as to be unrecognisable. Harry Whedon's Odeon at Leicester survives as a triple in 1986. inside and you'll find no trace of the original decorative treatment of the entrance hall or auditorium. As a key provincial cinema on the circuit it was far too important to be left alone. In Leicester the circuit had great difficulty in finding a site of sufficient size in the town centre. After three years, it was decided to sacrifice a central location in order to build a large Odeon a little way off from the commercial hub. This, of course, may have helped it to survive today. The first purpose-built Scottish Odeon was at Ayr. Now devoid of its exterior tiles, it survives in 1986 as a single-screen cinema with a modernised auditorium. has also shed its exterior tiles and has become a three-screen cinema. The third in Scotland was at Motherwell, which closed in 1975 and went on to become a bingo hall. All three of the Scottish Odeons were handled by Andrew Mather and there were plans for 12 more when Motherwell opened. None were built, seemingly because of the war. seem particularly plain and uninteresting buildings as if somehow they were underfinanced. They really do not seem to be worthy of the circuit.